quit standing at the door, knocking on the door that's already closed. Go up the hall. Hell, is some more doors up there. The pursuit of your dreams is going to re- require some type of sacrifice. Whenever you going for something that's a level up, there's a glass ceiling you have to break through. Bishop Jakes, Bishop T.D. Jakes taught me this. He said, whenever you're trying to get to the next level, chase a dream, make a goal, it's a glass ceiling you have to break through. Whenever you break through glass, there's going to be bloodshed. The thing you shed is going to have to be something you care about deeply. It doesn't mean that you'll lose your loved one, but it's going to cost some time. It's going to cost some date nights, and that's when you're going to find out what your love really is. That's, that's the price, man. That's what it costs. It was, for me, it was the same thing. When I started in comedy, I was 27. I won an amateur night October 8th, 1985. I went to job next day, October 9th, with $50 I won and quit my job. Because my dream was, I saw my dream coming true. That's what I wanted to be. I won $50. I went in the house and told everybody, hey, I'm finna go be a professional comedian. What? I'm quitting my job. You can't quit your job. Yeah, yeah, I already did it. And that was it. And that was, I was 27 years old. That was 37 years ago. And I lost everything twice. And it's a crazy decision. I lost a lot, lost my family, lost money, lost my livelihood, I lost everything. But I did not lose the key component. I did not lose my faith. I kept the faith the whole time. (laughs) Faith is the belief in things that you cannot see. And I didn't see how I was gonna make it, but I had the faith that I would. (laughs) See, that's the thing about y'all. You got to quit tripping on whether you think you'll make it or not. Stop tripping on whether you think you'll make it or not. Every funky thing that's ever happened to you, every disappointment, every hardship, every setback, you survived every single one of them. All of you. You're batting a thousand. Your track record for surviving the funk is 100%. So if I was you, I would take another chance on that God right there because that's a pretty good God right there. And he's been a good God to you whether you even realize it or not. So if I was you, I'd take a chance. If my dream was to pursue a, a higher role in corporate America, I'd go for it. If your dream is really that other job, I'd go for it. If your dream was to start a business, I'd go for it. If your dream was to just... Take, take a chance and shut the door. You got to walk away from shit, man. You got to walk away from shit. You can quit worrying about doors that close in your face. When doors close in your face, it's a sign from God that he wants you to walk up the hall because there's some more doors up there. Quit standing at the door, knocking on the door that's already closed. Go up the hall. Hell, there's some more doors up there. Go through a bigger door, but you got to take a chance in life, man. Quit playing it safe. You got to get funky, man. Quit playing the safe. Stop playing the safe. Take a chance. If God didn't got you through all the rest, all of your life, why would he not get you through the rest of it? What he going to do? Stop caring for you? What? He going to stop helping you survive? No, nah, man, he always do it for you. He going to get you there, I'm trying to tell you. Better take a shot before it's too late.